All right, you guys, so I just got done watching Southpaw. I know there's a lot of, there's going to be some reviews coming out uh, in, with, in the next while or whatever of movies that came out earlier in the year. I just didn't get a chance to see them at the time. But I've seen them, and Southpaw is one of those movies starring Jake Gyllenhaal. Um, without kind of giving too much away, Jake Gyllenhaal is playing this boxer. And when we meet him in the movie, he's the undefeated heavyweight champion. Um, and so something happens that he's not that anymore. And he's going through a lot of stuff. And he loses his daughter. And he, wants, he, he decides he wants to fight to try to get his daughter back. And, you know, prove that he can actually be a good person and he's not as bad as, you know, maybe he seemed like at one point in this movie. Now, what I think of Southpaw is... I like this movie. I really did. But I'll be honest with you. In some way, it was a little bit disappointing. And here's what I mean by that. Uh, when, when the trailers were coming out, I'm like, yeah, this movie's going to be great. Like, this movie's going to be on a Rocky level of great. Maybe not Rocky 1, but maybe like Rocky 2 or, you know, one of the other Raw Rocky sequels. It's going to be on that caliber. Um, it's not that, like, I was a little bit disappointed. I think because my expectations were a little too high. It's still a good movie. Um, I, I still had a good time watching it. I, I don't think it's a bad movie at all, really. It's just my expectations were a little too high. And for that, I was a little bit disappointed. It's not as good as I wanted it to be. But it's not as bad as a lot of people are making it out to be. I've seen... So far from what I've seen, I've seen half and half reviews. Some half of the reviews that I've seen said it was good, it was an alright time, and the other half of the people that I've seen didn't really care for it. I liked it, um, but let's talk about some of the cast. We have Jake Gyllenhaal in this movie, who is our main character. And um, Jake Gyllenhaal, he's killing it with dramas lately. Uh, I mean, I know Brothers came out a few years back, but that's when he, when Jake Gyllenhaal really started to win me over. I was never really a big Jake Gyllenhaal guy until Brothers came out. Then I'm like, holy shit, his performance in that movie is amazing. And then he does movies like Nightcrawler last year. You know, Steady Hands, used Zoom. Um, that movie is incredible. His performance is incredible. He's, he plays a great sociopath. And in this movie... He's fucking phenomenal in this movie. He really is. He's great. Jake Gyllenhaal is killing it with his performances. And it just goes to show you that Jake Gyllenhaal can play this, you know, kind of bum who's, you know, the black sheep of the family. And then he can do movies like Nightcrawler where he's this really creepy sociopath. And then he can do this movie where he's a really damaged family man slash professional boxer and a lot of stuff's happened to him. Jake Gyllenhaal can do it. You know, I... I think I'm gonna say that he deserves at least a nomination for this movie. So far, we still have some other movies waiting to come out this year. Of course, Creed um, and, and stuff like that in particular. There are some Oscar-worthy films that are coming out that will probably get nominated before Jake Gyllenhaal will. But I hope he gets a nomination for this movie. I don't. I don't think he should win, but he should definitely get nominated or recognized in some way for this movie. We also have Forrest Whitaker in this movie, who I thought was pretty solid. Um, 50 Cent, that's right, Curtis Jackson. That's right, 50. Um, he's in this movie. I kind of forgot that he was in the movie. Like, I remember seeing him in the, in the trailers and stuff like that, but it's been so long since the trailers came out and stuff like that, and the movie came out. Um, so when I was watching this movie and 50, 50 Cent came on screen, I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot he was in the movie. He was fine. Um, he was just kind of there for most of the movie. Like, he, re he really didn't have that much to do um great rachel mcadams is in this movie who's really good in the movie but she's wasted um she's very underused they could have done a lot more with her character but on the other hand i can understand why they didn't um but she, she's good in the movie they just didn't do enough with her and i wish there would have been a little bit more with her um the little girl who played jake gyllenhaal's daughter in this movie and i can't remember her name she was really good like i was really impressed by her uh, by taking this role and, you know, actually doing something with it as a child. And you can really feel for this child. And that's another thing I want to talk about. While the movie itself may not be, gr like, f as good as I was hoping for it to be, um, I gotta say, the two best things in this movie, number one, Jake Gyllenhaal's performance in this movie is fantastic. And number two, the relationship between Jake Gyllenhaal and his daughter. I don't know what it is, 
Maybe it's because of the fact that I have a five-year-old daughter, and so, you know, Jake Gyllenhaal's daughter only, only being a couple years older than my daughter, seeing the, re the father-daughter relationship and everything that they've gone through together and everything that they're going through and how they're both damaged and they're both fucked up from certain things that happened, it pulls at the heartstrings. It really, really does. It kind of, like, I wasn't full on crying in tears, but I started to feel like, you know, it, it's, it, it tugs right here in, in, in the right place. It does. It's, it's, it's emotional. It really is. Um, the supporting cast is all good, but Jake Gyllenhaal is definitely the shining point of this movie. The storyline is great. Uh, I will say the first half of this movie is, Better than the second half, in, in my opinion. The second half, I think it fell a little flat. But the first half of this movie is the better half. And I gotta admit, for like the first 10, 15, maybe even 20 minutes, I'll say 15 minutes. Um, for the first 15 minutes of this movie, I was, I was a little bored with it. Um, I just, I couldn't really get into it. Um, so it does have a slow build up a little bit in, in some way, but... Um, you know, it, it picks up a little bit after that. Like I said, the first half is the better half of the movie. Let's talk about the fights, because this is a boxing-related movie. The fights in this movie, they were pretty good. Like, they weren't... I, I, wouldn't, I would say the fights in, in Rocky, in the, in the Rocky series, are better. Um, but uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, you can definitely tell that he was into this. And, you know, some of the stuff in, in, in the fights look really good, but there's a lot of stuff in the fights that didn't look as good as... They should have, um, but I don't know, really know whose fault that is. So, Southpaw, yeah, it's a good movie. Not as good as I was hoping for it to be. Um, I had fun with it. I liked it, but you know, I don't know if I would rush and get this one out on Blu-ray or anything like that. I know it's out on Blu-ray now, but um, you know, maybe if I find it for like I don't know, eight bucks at Best Buy or something, maybe then I'll get it. But you know, I, I wouldn't pay, like, full new release price for it. Um, so, yeah. That's basically how I feel about Southpaw. Good, not as good as I was expecting it to be. I know a lot of people love it. A lot of people didn't really care for it too much. And there are some people like me who are kind of in the middle. Um, all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and give Southpaw a C+. I was going to go B-, minus, but, you know... I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a, a C plus. All right, now I'll give it a B minus. Okay, B minus. Like, if you guys know, I don't write anything down. I just kind of do my reviews naturally. It feels more organic, and I feel better about about having to, you know, uh, starting to say something right here, and then quick cut, and I'm over here, and then I'm over here, and then, you know, it it works for some people, like Jeremy Johns, uh, you know, Flick Pick, Chris Stuckman. It works for them doesn't really work for me. So, you know, I do my reviews all natural and organic. Um, so, yeah, that's why I kind of change my ratings throughout my review a little bit. I'll go, I'll go ahead and give this one a B-. minus. Final answer. Is that your final answer? Yes, Regis, it is my final answer. Southpaw, B-. minus. What do you guys think of Southpaw? Comment your thoughts down below in the video. Uh, like the video, share, and subscribe. Just do it!